Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Asus ROG Zephyrus G16 GA605. To gain access to the internals of this thin gaming device, you have to undo 11 Torx head screws. The top two in the middle are hidden underneath rubber caps, so you must unglue them first. When that is done, there are visible slight gaps in the bottom edges, which is a great starting point. Pry the front and the sides. With that out of the way, you can pop the back. Insert a thin plastic tool in between the plate and the chassis and slide it gently. Don't push too hard because the clips there are pretty stiff and you can snap them if you aren't careful. On the inside of the bottom plate, we can spot a rubberized-like material that protects the battery from scratches and three dust filters for the fans. The laptop's Wi-Fi card and SSD have heat shields. This battery is a 90 watt hour model. To take it out, remove the plastic shroud on the top side that covers the battery connector and unplug the connector from the motherboard. Then, undo the four Phillips head screws that secure the unit fixed to the base. The capacity is enough for around 12 hours of video playback. That's a superb result considering the high res OLED display and the powerful processor and graphics card. To achieve that, you have to apply the performance and eco presets in the MyAsus app and the Optimus mode in the NVIDIA control panel. The slash lighting is turned off. You get up to 32 gigabytes of soldered LPDDR5X, 7500 MHz RAM in dual channel mode. The Wi Fi card is placed near the battery connector. When it comes to storage, you can rely on two M.2 slots compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The left one offers half of the PCIe lanes compared to the one on the right. A decently sized thermal pad cools the pre-installed NVMe from below. The bottom cooling fan could be removed if you undo its three Phillips head screws. This fan helps to move the heat to the rear exhausts as fast as possible. The three fan thermal system relies on a trio of long heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU, and a fourth one solely dedicated to the graphics card. We can also see two top-mounted heat sinks and four heat spreaders which are different in size. 